with you with no delay and so what you saying yo silly with the nine milli with the dilly though what's up y'all it's big vern happy monday to you hope you had a great weekend here in the midwest we are having some beautiful weather thank god it is not a scorcher also i hope you caught the olympics i hope you saw the men's usa basketball team have an epic gold medal performance steph curry is a legend and lebron james just proves that he is the goat whether you like it or not action packed monday here at app stupid aka the pit got a great show lined up for you we'll get after it mark stoops is found to be ridiculously dumb as kentucky has to vacate wins in the 2021 2022 season also they've got to vacate the citrus bowl victory we'll get into all of that Deion sanders he does something i said is extremely right of how you deal with people when they disrespect you find out what that is then we'll talk some florida state versus the acc in court this just got ugly find out the repercussions for leaving the acc what it could cost you and if florida state really has the money number one to pay to leave and then where do you go from there if you're florida state who knows those stories and many more when we come back from a quick 20 from our unofficial sponsor of the show this is big Vern. drop the spot <laughs> Yes, Taco Bell, Live Moss. Download the app, order online, or visit the good folks at your local Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Live Moss. So just going to hop right into it. Marky Mark and the Stupid Bunch. Now, this is in the Lexington Herald, and this is John Hale. That wasn't his headline. That was mine. And Mark Stoops is involved in this, along with the Kentucky football players. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, what did they do? What did they do? Wage theft wage theft players got paid for hours they didn't work at the university hospital they were involved in some sort of transport they said they had jobs they never showed up and not only did they pay them they kept paying them yeah as a result they had to vacate the 10 win season and give back the citrus bowl trophy that was one reason The second reason nobody's talking about, eight of the players who played in that bowl game, they were ineligible to begin with. And if you're Mark Stoops, you knew this, but you put those guys out there anyway. I don't give a crap what you say or, oh, I don't know. Part of being a a head coach is being a real control freak and how you can control the narrative and how you can spin things. So the fact that you're saying that you didn't know that eh, that's just very dishonest. Now I know what you're saying. Hey, look, everybody's got to have their day in court. This is the court of public opinion. Of course, we can only go on what we got. Mark Stoops, he had this to say for himself. You're disappointed because people did a lot of hard work to get to that place. What? That's it. (laughs) That's all you had to say? (laughs) Obviously, three years ago, now, things have changed dramatically. Still doesn't make it okay. These are his exact quotes. There is nothing embellished. There is nothing put out there to make this dude look even more buffoonish and cartoonish. Now, remember, these are the adults. These are the adults that are supposed to be putting those things in in the children like work ethic, like, you know, being of high moral character. Yeah. These are the adults failing. That's not all he had to say. Certainly in today's world, we wouldn't be having these conversations. You can just flat out give it to them. I shouldn't say that. You've got to send a tweet to get a million dollars. If you call that work, little different. What? 
Again, what was that? I have no clue. I have no clue. It's psychobabble. At this moment, it is truly psychobabble coming from this dude's mouth. Also, who are you texting to get a million dollars and sending a tweet to? Because I need that number. <laughs> I need whoever's on the end that can wire me a million after we go ahead and give said tweet of, hey, I'm in need. Okay, million cent, end of story. What are you trying to say? And he knows he's wrong in saying it because he said, I shouldn't say this. We can just flat out give it to him. Duh, it's the NIL. The players don't even, they don't really need to go through a coach. The coach back then was the middleman. Now, as a player, you can negotiate with the collective. The coach is an afterthought. But this guy doesn't seem to follow directions. There's no contrition. There's not a hint of humility. It's just psychobabble. And in some weird roundabout way, he's kind of like endorsing wage theft. There's no employer on the face of the planet that's going to be cool with paying you for hours you don't work. Because I know a lot of people like being dishonest brokers and they're saying, oh, they should do our jobs and I don't get all the extra blah, blah, blah for working my job. Okay, Chico, here we go. Class 101, take your dumb ass to work. Don't clock in. Have one of your friends clock in for you. Don't show up for the rest of the day. Have that same friend clock out for you. And then you tell me, once you've been discovered, do you still got a job? Yeah, I thought not. We'll get back into more ridiculousness from Marky Mark and the Stupid Bunch when we come back from a rap album we're promoting this month. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. I know you're not going to believe this, but we got another rap album we're promoting this month. But a bum bum bum. Vinny the Butcher and the Black Soprano family. Summertime Butch in stores now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it's Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. Vinny the Butcher in stores now. Holly. Yeah, shout out to Benny the Butcher, Summertime Butch. I've been banging it all weekend. So when we last left off on Marky Mark and the Stupid Bunch, this happened in the spring of 2021 to March of 2022. So on that season alone, he was able to ink a deal in extensions. He's making $8.6 million annually, and he cheated the system to get that check. Is Kentucky justified in renegotiating that contract because they paid for those wins he no longer has? That's a fair question. That is a fair question. That's a fair question to ask. And not only did Mitch, they didn't want him to go public about it. The NCAA also didn't want Stoops to talk about this. They were saying, let the athletic department handle it. Let them read from the statement. Then Marky Mark and the Stupid Bunch just proceeded to get out there and give you more idiot ramblings from a delusional, ridiculous person who's now making $8.6 million for a victory record of 63 wins to 65 losses. He got paid on those wins. He's the reason Coach Calipari did not get that practice facility because this was the same time around when he was in the Bahamas, he was on the phone trying to raise money and Mitch killed the deal, which infuriated Calipari. So now if I'm Mitch Barnhart, I'm pulling my hair out. Like, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. His only saving grace is that this Mark Pope thing works out. If Coach Pope works out, then Mitch is a safe, he's a safe character, but if not, and, and of, of course, UK, they don't have a postseason ban. The NCAA findings, along with Kentucky and these sham investigations, they said that he didn't do anything wrong. Who knows? But I know for a simple fact, a kid will come to you and say, hey, coach, I got to go ahead and figure out a way to practice around my work schedule. Oh, OK, you got a job. That was easy. 16 year olds can do this. You mean 19 year olds? They can't do that. 
as a coach, as a grown ass man, you don't sit here and the kid has a work schedule he turns in and you see him at practice and he's not tired and you're just like, hey, did, did you work last night? Those questions never came up in a year. <laughs> you see how ridiculous this sounds? You see how ridiculous this sounds? Also, think of who you're hurting in this situation. Of course, you'll look at it. The guys, they've moved on. Will Levis was able to actually will and deal his way into the NFL. He'll, he'll be abruptly leaving because he's, he's trash. He's oatmeal and shoulder pads. He's done for. However, the good folks in Lexington haven't had a 10-game winning season since 1977. I was born then. They have been an abject failure, a laughing stock, and a joke because the SEC is a football conference. That's why Kentucky hangs their hat on basketball. You gave the fan base hope, and now you took that said hope away. Congratulations, idiot. So yeah, that's him. That's his psycho babble. That's more of his ridiculous routine. We got a lot more show to go. Big Blue Nation, let me know. Was this just a dumb stunt? Because if this was the pursuit of money, he reached his goal. This is Big Vern.